Okay, so sometimes you're given a solution, um, or you may be given um, a compound which you then dissolve into water, and you need to tell whether it's got chloride, bromide, or iodine ions in it. So it could be sodium chloride, sodium bromide, something like that. You'll be given just a white solid. How do you tell whether it's got fluoride, bromide, or iodide in? Well, you use silver nitrate solution. So we can use silver nitrate solution. to identify whether a compound contains chloride, bromide, or iodine. Now, you get a precipitate, and you can look at the colour, which we're we'll doing in a minute, we're doing a table. Um, however, uh, sometimes it's not clear. Can you remember what we then do? We've got a precipitate, we look at the colour, and then do you, do you remember doing ammonia solution after that? Um, sometimes, um, or we'll say today, um, so let's do a little uh, They all give a different coloured precipitate. So we use ammonia solution to confirm. So we do a little table. Uh, well, I don't know, I'll write this off. Uh, we do a little table uh, so that you can see that. Is everybody okay if I whip down to here? So the first thing, so we'll do a little table to see what the result we get with silver nitrate, and then the result that we get with ammonia solution. So we do, here we go, we'll put a light here, and then we'll put a observation with silver nitrate solution maybe we'll put a little thing for equation and then we'll put observation So we're going to test three. We do chloride, Cl minus, Br minus, bromide, and I minus, iodide. Observation with silver nitrate solution. We'll then do the equation, and then we'll then 
do uh, the observation with ammonia solution. So the aim now is for you to do the practical, and after the practical, we'll come back and fill out this table, because you'll be able to tell me what the colours are. Okay, so hopefully you have time to um, do all three halides. So I'm just going to go through and we'll just make sure that we've all got the same results. So in this test tube, I've got a solution of potassium chloride. In this one, solution of potassium bromide. And this one, potassium iodide. The first thing I'm going to do is add my silver nitrate solution. So we know that that is chloride, so let's move that out of the way. I add in my silver chloride. And you notice I get a precipitate. It's definitely a solid. I can't see through it. And that's a white precipitate. So if in doubt, chloride gives you a white precipitate. Let's do bromide. So I have a squirt in my bromide. Now, that's quite difficult. But what do you reckon we're going to call that colour? Cream, yeah. Cream precipitate. It is different. You can see the difference. That's very much whiter, isn't it? That's cream. And then iodide, where hey, oh, not quite so much of a precipitate there. Let's bung a little bit more in just to make sure. That is a yellow precipitate, like so. So we have a cream, a, a white precipitate, a cream precipitate, and a yellow precipitate. What are these precipitates? What is the solid that I've made? Well, for chloride, I've made silver chloride. This one is silver bromide. And this one is silver iodide. So it's really important that you realize the precipitate is a silver salt. Now, the next stage was to see whether they dissolve in dilute ammonia solution, which I have here. So, I'm going to pop in some dilute ammonia into the chloride. Give it a shake. Oh, and what do you see? That has definitely dissolved. Yep, we'll have with that. What's dissolved? The, the silver chloride's dissolved. So the thing that you made, yeah, the silver chloride dissolved. What about bromide? Silver bromide, has that dissolved? No, hasn't dissolved. <laughs> and nor does the silver iodide. Neither of those dissolve in dilute ammonia solution. So we can say the silver chloride dissolves in dilute ammonia, but the silver bromide and iodide do not dissolve in dilute ammonia. So with these, we're now going to test these with concentrated ammonia solution. Now we're going to see, so our silver chloride dissolved in dilute, so we don't need to worry about that. We're now going to see whether my silver bromide dissolves in concentrated ammonia solution. So let's have a go. A couple of squirts of concentrated ammonia solution. Okay. It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely going, hasn't it? It's almost gone. Let's just put another squirt in to make sure, and that has dissolved. So, my silver bromide will dissolve in concentrated ammonia. What about my silver iodide? Let's just have a look. Pop that up. Let's give it a mix. Oh, that doesn't look like it's dissolving. So the silver iodide will not dissolve in concentrated ammonia solution. So that's how you tear them apart using ammonia. Silver chloride dissolves in dilute. Silver bromide in concentrated. Silver iodide insoluble in both. Okay, cool. So now we've done the experiment, let's do the results table. So, silver chloride, observation with silver nitrate solution, is we had a white precipitate of silver chloride. For bromide, we had a cream precipitate.
faith of silver, bromide, and of iodide we had a yellow precipitate of silver iodide. Silver chloride is AgCl, silver bromide AgCr, and silver iodide AgO. Right, so those observations are really important. It's important you've got the colour and also you've got a precipitate as well. Now, equation, we're going to do the ionic equation, so simplified equations for this. Silver ions are Ag plus, and they were aqueous, they were dissolved, plus Cl minus aqueous made Ag Cl solid. Silver bromide, Ag plus aqueous, plus Br minus aqueous, goes to Ag Br solid. And the final one, silver iodide, Ag plus aqueous, plus I minus aqueous, goes to Ag I solid. So that just ignores the other ions, it ignores my nitrate for the silver, and it ignores the potassium, for potassium chloride, potassium bromide, and potassium iodide, but that's the simplified, they are fine and dandy, you can use those. Let's do observation of ammonia solution. Key thing is, silver chloride dissolves in dilute ammonia solution. Silver bromide dissolves in concentrated ammonia solution. But the last one, silver iodide, is insoluble in concentrated ammonia solution. You've got to know that table of results and you need to know these equations as well. That comes up quite a lot.